So in general, when you have a repeated factor, look at the bottom of each term and you see that the power increases. So here's another example. We're asked to evaluate the following integral. What's the decomposition? Well, you've got some repeated linear factors, the x plus ones, and the x on the bottom. So it would be something a little like this. So can we find big A, big B, big C, and big D? Now that looks like a lot of work, but it's not. Anybody, can anyone suggest something? Say again? Yes. If you look on the top of your integrand, the numerator, you've just got a 1 sitting up here, right? If you add x and take x away and break it up, you're going to get some cancellation straight away. If you continue doing that throughout this problem, you can get A, B, C, and D you know, reasonably quickly. So I can break that up into two bits and get some cancellation right away. What was that? <laughs> All right, so when you break that up, you're going to cancel off the x's and the x plus 1's. And you're going to get something like this. Anyone suggest anything now? Well, it, any suggestions? Am I missing a? Am I missing something in there? What am I missing? Oh yeah, that would, that would have been too easy. So I can integrate that second term straight out. What about the first term? Do the same thing, Do the same thing. yeah. So add one and take one away up top. OK, so continuing in this fashion, you'll get down, down to the following. Hey, how you doing? All right, so you'll actually get down to the following. Okay, so you can... Continuing in that fashion, You get the following. So each of those bits can be integrated. You're going to get logs in the first two terms and the following in the second two terms. Okay, so this is going to go to plus 1 on x plus 1. And this is going to go to this over up uh, 1 on 2 bracket x plus 1 all squared, ah, plus a constant. OK, now the two, yes? How about? So this is in here? So this is minus. Uh, hang on, no, no, it should be plus, right? Yep, is that what you're saying? Yeah. Thank you. All right. Now, the, the, the two examples that I've given you, they're kind of just designed to, to show you, just common sense is the first 
is the first um, tool that you should use, right? Don't use um, methods if you don't need to, right? Just use the simplest method. But of course, this won't work all the time. You'll try to break the numerator up and it just won't give you what you want. 